Welcome to Linux Essentials, covering your first 100 commands, and today we'll demonstrate the ID command. I'm Paul, and here's the plan. First, the command and why you need it. Second, we'll play around in our terminal window, and third, we'll return for a quick tip, and then we're done. Okay, we know Linux is the backbone of the internet and is used by data snoops and authorized personnel. At Factorpad, we use Linux for fun stuff like creating security policies. So Linux is great, but it requires that you memorize commands, just like words in a language. And our 77th word or command to memorize is ID from our category users. ID allows you to show user and group information. Recall from the previous video on Chown, we set file ownership to users and groups. We also saw a text file that stores group information. And now we'll get a quick view of our own current ID and memberships. But before we start, it helps to think of commands as mini programs. And most follow this structure, command options and arguments. The ID command has 10 options and an argument optionally is the username. Like most commands, help is available with double dash. The dash capital G option shows group IDs and dash U shows user IDs. So yes, all groups and users are given an identification number. So why is ID an important command? Well, it may help to see which groups you're in so you can identify what responsibilities come with your membership. And now you know how to do that. Oh, a quick word on navigation. This button goes to the playlist, back one video, forward one video, and click here for updates. Okay, the best way to embed this in your memory is by typing in your own terminal window. Find this on your Mac using a program called Terminal. On Linux, use Terminal or Console, and currently Microsoft is adding this functionality to Windows. So here we go. Let's start with an ID dash capital G for Paul. And there's a group number, but let's make it more descriptive with an N at the end, and that looks better. And again, this could be a long list if, uh, for example, I had multiple different groups and they had long names. Um, and then on the user side, dash U for the user ID and the N for name. Okay, very good. And last, the default behavior of simply ID and enter shows all the info in one place, which may get messy if you're part of a lot of groups. Very good, and as always, exit closes the terminal window. Okay, now you know how to use ID, and you know the syntax for commands, options, and arguments. One last tip about the ID command. So, we saw who we are with the who am I command in video 13. And now with ID, we can find our user ID and group membership. Here are two others we won't afford a whole video to. First is who, the who command which shows you who is logged in currently. And then second is W, which shows you what they're doing. Interesting. Okay, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was a helpful introduction to the ID command.